Imagine receiving a desperate message, written in haste as enemy forces close in. An ancient letter filled with fear, loss, and the final cries for help. These are the Lachish letters, messages written in the last days of the Kingdom of Judah, just before the city fell to the Babylonian army. The ink on pottery shards tells us of commanders who watched in vain as neighboring strongholds fell and signals faded. What secrets do these communications reveal about the final moments of Judah? And how do they connect with the biblical accounts of impending judgment and destruction? The letters were discovered during excavations at the ancient site of Lachish, a prominent fortified city of Judah, which was one of the last strongholds standing during the Babylonian invasion in the early 6th century BC. Lachish was strategically important, acting as a buffer against the Babylonian forces for Jerusalem. The letters were unearthed in the ruins of a guardhouse, preserved on pieces of ostraca, pottery fragments used for writing. These records, approximately 18 in total, were written in Hebrew, providing a vivid glimpse into the tumultuous days leading up to the fall of the city. They are communications between military officers stationed at Lachish, and their content is filled with tension, anxiety, and the desperation of a kingdom on the brink of destruction. The Lachish letters provide important connections to the Bible, specifically regarding the fall of Judah. In Lachish letter 4, it states, We cannot see Azekah, which aligns directly with Jeremiah chapter 34 verse 7. When the army of the king of Babylon was fighting against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left, Lachish and Azekah, for these were the only fortified cities of Judah that remained. This suggests that Azekah had fallen, isolating Lachish. In Lachish letter 6, the phrase, it is not a matter of one who weakens our hands, closely matches Jeremiah chapter 38 verse 4. This man ought to be put to death because he is weakening the hands of the soldiers who are left in this city and the hands of all the people by speaking such words to them. Both express concern over a loss of morale among the defenders, indicating fear and desperation. Finally, Lachish letter 3 mentions the words of the prophet, Beware lest they weaken your hands, which resonates with Jeremiah chapter 26 verse 8 to 9. And when Jeremiah finished speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, You shall die. This shows the tension between military leaders and prophets, with fears that prophecies would demoralize the people. The language of the Lachish writings is both practical and emotional, showing the struggle of individuals trying to defend their city and maintain order while facing overwhelming odds. The words on these pottery shards are not the polished text of historical documents written after the fact. They are raw, immediate reactions to events as they unfolded, providing a rare first-hand glimpse into the atmosphere of impending doom in the last days of Judah. The fragments bring us into the heart of an unfolding crisis, where soldiers and commanders are attempting to communicate, understand the rapidly deteriorating situation, and cling to whatever hope they had left. These records reflect the chaotic and collapsing world of Judah, directly correlating with the biblical accounts of the fall of Judah, demonstrating the connection between scripture and the lived experiences of those who witnessed it. The Lachish letters emerged during a critical moment in Judah's history, right before the Babylonian invasion that led to the eventual fall of Jerusalem in 586 BC. This was a time of immense pressure for the southern kingdom of Judah, as the Babylonian Empire, led by Nebuchadnezzar II, expanded its control over the region. After the northern kingdom of Israel had already fallen to the Assyrians over a century earlier, Judah stood alone, increasingly isolated and vulnerable to Babylonian dominance. Lachish was one of the key fortified cities in Judah and acted as a crucial defensive outpost for the kingdom, particularly for Jerusalem. The writings also resonate with the tone of the biblical narratives. 
highlighting themes of betrayal, failing leadership, and divine judgment. In the Bible, the prophets often spoke of how Judah's leaders had lost their way, leading to the kingdom's downfall. The letters provide a secular counterpart to these accounts, demonstrating the same desperation and disarray on the ground that the biblical prophets spoke against. These artifacts, therefore, serve as a bridge between archaeological evidence and biblical narrative, solidifying our understanding of the last days of Judah. They provide a rare and invaluable insight into the practical, day-to-day -day realities of those on the front lines of the Babylonian conquest, emphasizing that the events described in Scripture were lived experiences faced by real people, scrambling to defend their homes in the face of an overwhelming enemy. This convergence of history and scripture gives the documents their profound significance in biblical archaeology. If this journey through ancient Judah's final moments and its connections to the Bible has sparked your interest, be sure to like, share and subscribe for more content exploring the deep links between history, faith and archaeology. Leave your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your perspective on these ancient messages. God bless.